So I just got my new tubing sander in. The way this weld is kind of lumpy and everything. Just tested it out. And that sucker works pretty dang on good. I just gotta get the whole tube off that way I can hit a whole lot better, but I mean that levels out everything. So I'll be able to have these tubes looking a whole lot nicer. And this is what I got. This old piece right here just keeps tension on it like that. Works pretty well. I got a lot of sanding to do. I figure that'll come in handy before we paint. So today was a milestone in the build. Finally got it sitting down on all four tires, the rollers. I have each shock set up to where about eight inches of shock is out. They're 16 inch CNC overtime nitrogen shocks. Still gotta do a whole lot more welding and bracing up, but I've got the bones of everything in place where I need it. Tomorrow, plan on firing this up one more time just to check everything and then get ready to go drop it in the bed over there. Hopefully have this whole truck done next month. So, y'all be ready. So I got a quick video update for you. Got the motor sitting up in the truck. Now it's not fully bolted in. But it's just hanging up in there. Been playing with these nitrogen shocks trying to get everything leveled out. But it's coming along. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get the motor fully mounted up in place. Get that transfer case mounted back up in the center. Start measuring my drive line angles and everything. It's gonna be interesting. All right, got y'all another update over here. Got the shocks fully bled out. That way it's going as low as it's supposed to go. Trying to get everything lined up for that transfer case, transmission, whole drive line set up. I mean, I got some space between the bars, not a whole lot, but being that it's fully bottomed out, shouldn't have to worry about it. I got a buddy of mine coming by tomorrow, put it, or not tomorrow, this evening, put a second set of eyes on it. See what we got. But being that the truck's not at a perfect angle, I went ahead and Get everything equaled out so we got three and a half degrees back there on the motor three and a half on the frame and put that down in there and get it sit still on the aluminum let's see what we come up with so on today's agenda I'm gonna get this motor actually mounted in place to just hanging off that cable on the hoist up there I gotta build brackets to mount these motor plates. We got 50 shades of mo going on with all these rest straps holding everything where they need to go. But so they get everything lined up, marked up, we'll get them mounts built and stuck on. There's the front wheel plate right there. We're gonna be taking some of this angle iron right here. I've already cut one off. I'm gonna cut it down and build a bracket. That's what it's going to be mounting to. Alright, so now that I got them all cut, 
I just got to notch them all. I'm going to do a thin cut right there, not all the way through. I'm going to cut this completely off and cut it completely off right there. We're going to fold that sucker in and then weld it up the middle. All right, got it cut off. Cut about half an inch, not half an inch, halfway through it. Come on, take them thing. There we go, focus. All right, so all I got to do now is just bend it on over, weld her up. All right, got the bent on over. Gonna run that right up there. Well, that sucker set up perfect. Now, I'm by far no professional welder. But will it hold? Hell yeah, it will. That's, that, that's how you do one bracket. All right, so this is the bracket that we made right here. Good penetration all the way through. It's gonna be sitting about like that. So when I go to set that motor in the truck, it's gonna slide on down, hold itself up. I'm gonna pop two holes, three holes, run my bolts through, and it's gonna be set in place. Just gotta make three more brackets. This whole bracket right here is going right on the front. All right, got all four brackets built. Still pretty hot. Get an idea. Just got to work on getting the motor plate on the front end. Get everything set right up in place. After spending some quite some time trying to get the thing lined out, finally got the motor completely lined up with the frame and the rest of the body. All I gotta do now is run my brackets up in between there, tack them up in place, get everything fully welded out in the front end, and I'll move on to the rear. Rear's already set up also. But I had so much crap you gotta do just to get everything sitting perfectly level. You got it hanging off the cable. Okay, so we're good to go. Well, I officially got the motor in. It ain't fully bolted up how I want to just yet. I gotta go buy some more drill bits tomorrow. For the rest of them, what are they? Five eighths, half inch bolts, whatever. But it's in there. The only thing that ain't fully held up on its own is that transfer case. I still got thing all red strapped up in there. But yeah, 454 in one of these mini trucks. Way everything is looking. Get around this. That white sharpie mark, not white sharpie mark, the black sharpie mark on the cab. That represents the bottom of the truck bed. So that intake is going to barely stick above it. All right, there it is. So I've been finagling with this coupler for a while, trying to get the thing completely leveled out I'm trying to get these transfer cases and set up on these transmissions it's kind of a pain in the butt when you run a coupler you ain't got no wiggle room but once you have it right you're able to kind of wiggle it and you got gap all the way around which works out perfect it's just a matter of building some brackets welding it in place transfer case will be ready to go I'll be able to air up the rear end and Get to running my fuel lines and everything else. That's today's progress so far. Also got everything bolted in. On all four corners. Front and rear. I'm by far no professional. But it's little things like getting such a precise fitment. That just... Makes your day so much better. Hope y'all's day is going as good as mine. Alright, got all the straps off. Got the floor jack taken down. It's fully suspended on the zone. Got to add a lot more bracing. It's just got those two brackets holding it up. Still got to cut off the old brackets where it used to be. Cut it down. Well, it moved it quite a bit forward. Down a good bit. Don't know the exact measurements, I don't even remember. But anyways, it's fully suspended up. Whole drivetrain, everything's bolted up, ready to go. 
just need to pull that transmission back out go ahead and uh if you can see up in there put that torque converter up in there that way i can get this sucker running soon I need to order my stuff to build my drive shaft or drive shafts and start mocking up for my fuel cell mount up underneath the front that's about it though Okay, for tonight's agenda, we're going to be adding support to the top of that transfer case, grind off all the old stuff, grind off the frame, weld it all up, touch up some spots in the frame, where I can beef up a little bit, clean up as much as possible before I put this motor back in with the transmission and everything. <laughs> 